What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, people? Excuse me for a minute. I'm, uh, I'm in the middle of a bunch of stuff right now, but I always have time for you guys. Let me do this. Turn this down a little. And if you hear some noise, I got a bunch of fans going on my other computer that I'm editing with, so you'll have to bear with me for a minute. But today, I want to talk about some topics that are, I'm, on, I'm, just, I'm just doing the usual. I'm going to go over with some, some topics and I'm going to talk, shoot the breeze, as, they, as the old folks would say. Uh, today I'm going to talk about something about maybe why people think America is going the place we're going. Uh, and there's a, there was a study, uh, a, 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 a study, a, a poll done by Pew, Pew Research Center. And uh, you've heard me use this, the Pew Research Center probably plenty of times. And uh, they had a, their newest report was called America's Changing Religious Landscape. And uh, that shared that the USA, to, that the USA was a less religious um, country than we were seven years ago. I mean, which is obvious, a lot of people can tell. And that uh, the atheists and the ag agnostics, you know, their paths, you want to say, or, or have doubled in that same time frame. Well, this was in the last seven years. And it's changing the sky. Uh, I mean, it's still America is still a, a Christian dominated country. It's 78% Christian. But uh, it's, just, it's just slowly and surely you see that the, with a lot of policies that's been in effect in America lately, the, 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 the lack of morality, the lack of religious ideology. You know, Christian, like I said, Christianity still dominates, but you have to recognize like the change and shifts, the dramatic shifts, because what it is is I feel is it's like it's another generational thing. You know how I tell you people how I feel our morals and our our like when I used to always tell you about how our work ethic degenerated toward like like, like I said our, our grandparents, parents, and all that. Remember I said how every every generational thing. Well, it's the same way with religion now. Remember, I know uh, my friends who are Catholic. I know their parents are devout Catholics. And, like, I know their parents, and I know their parents' parents are really, really strict Catholics. You know, like, no mean on Monday, whatever that is. But as, like, their they came, they're divorcing, they're doing this, they're doing that. And their kids, you know, like I said, it's just like me. Our religion, you know, I came up under the Baptist church, you know, and, you know, and I'm going to tell you this way, the church, not all churches are putting up with this. Not all churches are still going by with gay marriage. Not all churches are, like, this world, like, not all these churches were bowing down to other religions. It's just that they got, they got, they got to find a new way, a new system of coming out, because you can't come out and condemn another religion because... Or you feel better, but what it is is, see, I'm busy all the time. Someone just popped me in my uh, uh, inbox there on the messenger. But if you know me on the Facebook, shoot me a message on the, on the messenger. It is what it is. But uh, back to the lecture at hand. It seems like I told you it's a generational shift thing. Every generation, it, like, like like I said, every generation just gets weaker. And, uh, it's, 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 it's getting to be, it's, it's a shame because if you look at religion, religion, if, if that's your religion, well, I'm pretty fine with it. But if you were, if look at religion by itself, it's nice to keep, to keep, to keep like, have you grounded. That's what you're talking about. Now, let me say something. To all the people that say religion is this, is that, I'm not talking about you. If somebody finds something that's like not freakish, like child molestation and stuff like that, they can find somebody that's something that uh, keeps their sanity. I'm all for it. But uh, as and, and 
that's what religion does to some people. Hold on a minute, damn. Let me speak to the video, apparently. But, uh, but the, 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 if you want to look it up, it's called the Pew Centers. It's called America's Changing Religious Landscape. I have somebody slid it to me and I read it. But here's the frightening, frightening stat for a lot of religious people and the church needs to address it. Because this is only going to start snowballing and getting bigger, this number. For every four, four, for every four uh, former Christians, for every four former Christians, like, you know, people that left the church, they only had one convert. That one that converted to Christianity. It's like a one to three scenario. You know, and this is, like I said, the church needs to address this. I oh, mean, you can you can no more wait for God to do what God does because, like God says, He only helps those who help themselves. And I hate when people mess up that quote because you don't know what you're talking about. But that's the lecture in hand. Could 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 we be strained from Jesus? And could we could the more decline of America and our position in society as the new Babylon be deteriorating? Could that be something? It's hand in hand. You know, who knows? But all I know is, I personally think it is. And like I said, I don't, I'm not really religious per se. But I think, would you start straying from whatever your religious laws is? And every religion, basically, like, let me, let me give you this, let me, let me give you people this little first step. Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. All agree, and so this is the principle I'm, ba I'm basing this up on. They all agree. You can look this up. They all agree on the first six chapters of the Bible. There's no complaints. They all agree on the first six chapters. They agree that happened. That this day, they, they agree. It's after this. It's like from the seventh chapter on in the Bible. That's when it starts getting hair. But that's what I said. That I, like I said, we're, our religions are, are related, basically. But. Could we be straying away from Jesus as a country? And is it hurting us down the road? I think it is. Some people don't think so, but you can see what's going on. So, I'm out. Thought this little tidbit might help you. Peace.